Hi, this is Melanie for Daisy Reviews, and I'm here to do a review of the Malayalam film Malik, which is just released on Amazon Video. If you're new to Pradesi Reviews, I do trailer reactions and film reviews of Indian cinema. Malik completed filming in January of 2020. So it's, it was filmed and held for, uh, you know, anticipation of theatrical release because this has been an eagerly anticipated film. Mahesh Narayan, the director of this film, has done Take Off, which was such an amazing film. And then this spring, he gave us a pandemic restriction film with Fahad Fazal, See You Soon, which was really, really interesting. But this is this grand scale epic. People are comparing it to Francis Ford Coppola's The Godfather series. They're comparing it to Nikon, which I think maybe is the closest comparison. People are praising Fahad Fazl, but it's such a strong cast, such a strong ensemble of so many uh, great actors playing all of these supporting roles. So I don't even know where to get begin because my mind is just like this. <laughs> it was amazing to see it home. Just, I mean, of course, it would have been better to see it theatrically and have that full immersive theater experience. However, the advantage of being able to see this film on, on my home TV was that the first 13 minutes is an amazing long tracking shot. The cinematographer is Sanu Verghese and he just said, oh, Lee J. Joe's Pelissery, you had an 11 minute tracking shot. Yeah, hold my beer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do you one better and I'm gonna do a 13 minute and I'm gonna open the movie with it instead of end the movie and just blow everyone's mind. There was so many, inf so much information in thrown at you and introduced to you and relationships of people and the way you're meeting characters in that first 13 minutes. You're at Malik's house, there's a celebration going on. It's like you're, you're traveling through, you're hearing private conversations. You're just, you don't know who everyone is talking about. So the advantage of watching this film at home was that after I finished watching the film, I started it all over again so I could experience those first 13 minutes again and knowing who everyone was. And that was incredible. So that was the advantage of being able to watch it at home and be like, okay, now I know which who was Amir that he was talking about in this part. And now I know why there's this tense relationship in this part. Oh, wow. I am just floored with the storytelling in this film. In some ways, this is a story that I've seen before. Young Thug starts s s uh, smuggling and then becomes a champion of his people and in, a, and in an oppressed community and protects them and they raise him up. Okay, we've seen that, but what's, one of the things that was unique about this is that there's three different narrators. So I stopped to see, like there, I think it was about a 30 or 40 minute stretch that's in present day. And we kind of get the setup of what is happening to late middle-aged, you know, Fahad Fazl character. And then something happens and then we get all these flashbacks and they're told through three different people to a character named Freddie. And I won't explain who Freddie is because it's going to be banana spoilery, but we're, we're told, I mean, I just thought that was so unique is that we get a fuller picture of everything that's happened because we're getting it from different narrators, different sides of the story. And there were so many scenes that I was like, okay, here comes the big Fahad Fazl explosion. He's really gonna, you know, and then uh, they don't. So Nimisha plays a Christian woman. There's these two, com I mean, the communities themselves are, are characters in the story. So uh, Fahad Fazl's character is from the Muslim community and right next door in this coastal area is a Christian community. His best friend is David, played by Vinay Fort, and then Nimisha plays David's sister. And so, you know, at the beginning, when we're present day, we see that Nimisha 
and and Fahad are married and and so that's a joining of the two communities and yet there's all this conflict between the two communities and so just in these flashbacks we learn how his relationships with certain people who were there in that first 13 minutes changed over the course of his life people that were close or who were mentors to him who betrayed him who did this who did that uh, it was just amazing to see it all unfold. And again, like so unique showing it with these three different narrators. There's so many special scenes. I can't even, I, I don't want to, I don't want to spoil this for anyone, but there's one particular scene of Fahad carrying a child in a very tragic situation. Oh my gosh. Just, uh, the anguish on his face and just, oh, wow. And I just felt like Nimisha, who I, I'm growing to admire more and more and more, like she really blew me away in the Great Indian Kitchen. I mean, I'd seen her before, but that one, that performance was so amazing. But this, especially the scenes where she's playing in the older wife, like her husband is about to go on Hajj. And people are saying, are you sure you want to leave? Isn't it dangerous for you to leave the community? And she walks up to him and just slaps his the passport into his hand. They don't embrace goodbye. There's just so much history there and it's all on her face. Oh my gosh. She, and then one of the final shots is of her face and there's so much she's not saying a word but there's so much that you're seeing in her face uh frankly i think she's going to i think she's going to take action she's going to take over the world is kind of the vibe that i got from those closing scenes and and seeing her face she was such a strong character if you follow my channel you know i like feisty heroines feisty does not even begin to cover how she pounces on a certain character like a tiger <laughs> like <laughs> and I don't just of both sexes okay there's, there's wow uh absolutely absolutely loved her character so much okay as an outsider as a part daisy I know I am not getting that this the setting is an imaginary town but the stories the events the conflict is based on real events that probably people in Kerala are extremely familiar with and knew how things were going to unfold. I'm just telling you from my perspective, I didn't know how things were going to completely unfold. I mean, I could kind of sense from the beginning that there was conflict. But when character David does a certain thing and then you just see the realization on his face of what he has done, I didn't know things were going to go that way. I didn't know those things were going to happen. And I will tell you, there's a twist that happens at the very end, um, a reveal of who a certain person is. <laughs> wow. I, I was, I didn't see that one completely coming, but I thought it was brilliant when we saw that reveal in the very last scenes. Wow. So I'm really, there's just so many things to admire about this film. I spent all this time talking about the writing, the incredible cinematography, the way it was filmed, the way it was edited and put together. This is a lot of characters. This is a lot of plot. It's almost three hours, but it just felt like it was racing by because there's, I mean, there's just so much. This is a film that you could keep rewatching and discover new layers of things going on. Uh, I will just say the acting, of course, everyone knows Fahad Fazal is one of the finest actors in Indian cinema, and he's incredibly powerful in this role. But I, one thing I liked about it was a little bit more restrained and a lot of um, scenes of this film. Uh, I mean, this is not like how off the wall, you know, he was in trance or something like that. It just you know, it's like, it wasn't like it was just Fahad Fazl. That was all that the movie was about. There were so many other characters who each had their moments to shine. Um, Vinnie Fort, I thought was one of the standout supporting characters as David, the brother-in-law. 
And I wasn't, I know he was in Kamadi Padam, which is a film that kind of reminds me of this film in a way where it's about the community and what has happened to the oppressed people and not just about the individual characters. Um, I don't really, rem I don't really have a strong memory of him. And so I looked at his filmography. I don't really remember him, but he is a standout in this film. I've already mentioned Nemesha. Delish Potan, <laughs> there's something about whenever he's on, you're like, okay, he's got to be sh shady motives. <laughs> He lives up to his reputation, let's just say that. Um, Jojo George, the introduction of him is maybe one negative or one little, tiny little quibble, tiny little quibble in that I didn't really completely buy the relationship that he strikes with Fahad Fazl's character in this, just those couple of scenes that, I don't know, you know, that one, everything else makes such sense and flows so logically or organically. And that was the only kind of like, but I, I just rolled with it. And I, uh, Joji George, I wasn't completely clear on what his character is. If he was a government official or somehow in charge of the police or I wasn't exactly sure. So maybe you can fill me in on if there was some word in there that wasn't translated that revealed what his actual title was. But anyway, I, you know, I always enjoy seeing him. He has a smaller role in this. I just, you know, everything about this film is amazing. And you need to see it. You need to see it immediately. Wow. I just like, I just need to, I have to have time to kind of absorb how good this film is. It's really, really strong. And this director has done, has had, this is an amazing accomplishment. I can't even imagine what he is going to give us next. Wow. All right. Let me know what you thought about Malik. If you had a chance to see it um, yet. And let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Follow me on Twitter at PradaisyYT. Follow me on Instagram at Pradesi Reviews. And if you hit the bell here when you subscribe, you'll never miss another trailer action or film review.